Hello, comrade. Long time no see. It's been more than a month since I, since my last, since my last video. And uh, during the reason why it took so long for me to make this video because in this video I'm testing ink, and what I, no no not all the ink, Hilo ink, and uh, what I find, what I find is that for some Hilo ink, yeah, some of a color, some. It will fade over time, and I determine one month probably is the best time to let you see this difference. That's why my this video cost me took took me a month to make. Okay, let's start. First things first. Let's see this knife. Look at that! How beautiful it is. Okay, here's the end of intro. Let's get down to ink. So basically, if you're familiar with the pen maker in China, you will know Hilo is a name. It's been it's been with us for decades, no more than decades, almost for seven decades probably. And you might heard of the story between Parker, Parker fifty one and the Hilo whatsoever. It's 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 just. Uh, not a topic of this video because this is this video mostly I talk about ink. So I all so so I just list the ink that is available in this on this market and I write an, and uh, I write some writing sample and I dip the, dip half of it into water to testing the water resistance how water resistant is it. And uh, why? So to see how's the performance. So I will go through one by one. But first things first, do visit my blog spot to see the full script of this Hilo Ink review. I I did an article in there, and uh, the link, the link to the blog spot is in the dis in the description. Because in the video, I just want to make a faster intro. So all the writing sample, all this, all this color comparison will be in blog spot. So don't worry. So you can take your time in the blog spot to see exactly what it is. Okay, first, that's the first two type is the carbon is the carbon ink two three four and two three four a two three four was discontinued in twenty eight. 2019 or 2018 you can't get it here here I have a bottle I was bought I was bought in 2016 or something that was 234 that was 2348 if you get this ink now that is currently in production. So I compare the writing sample with the two ink. I find, uh, cause I, cause, cause I talked to Hilo about uh, whether there's any formula change or whatsoever, and uh, there's a non reply for them from them, but from from this writing sample, from this writing writing sample from here and here. You will see there's literally no difference at all. So let's just assume they have exactly the same they have exactly the same formula. It's of course the water resistant the, the color is not fading exactly the same. So don't worry about the discontinued 23234. It's gone, it's gone, okay. Now let's get down the 203 and 233 both of them are washable blue I have a 233 and a 203 233 is the entry level model that is the that that, that is considered more where is the That is considered more primary, okay. But what I find this both of these two ink, yeah, they have a critical issue. The color is fading. 
within my months, within my testing months, you can see 233. Within my 230, within my testing months, yeah, you will see that is what I write in the beginning of June. Now in now it comes to the second uh, second second of July, almost a month. Now the color is always fading. So I use exactly the same ink, same pen and uh, to write it next to it. So you can see the color within a month, if for a change from this to that. Would you accept that? I wouldn't. Ah, and also that ink is washable, so bear in mind. Washable. I just show you how washable it is. That is called a washable. You you just wash that way. It's not water resistant. No water resistant at all. And the 203, 233, literally the same, but 203, the color is lighter. Its color not as strouted as the 233. That's all 233. That's one month old. That's fresh. Okay, so that's the difference. And it's washable. It's, it's, I will say this is washable within 24, first 24 hours of writing. So let's get down to the third type, the 230, 232, the blue black, the iron gal. That is my favorite ink so far, 232. Two thirty two. It's blue black. What I find this ink is quite interesting is the color will fading from fresh blue black to to black to black within it will turn to black within couple within one or two weeks I believe. But my sample is it took a month. So that's why you will find on my sample here. Two thirty two. When it's fresh it was something like this, the blue black thing. But after months it turned into this that is black. Of course, not as black as the carbon black, but that is black. Okay? That is the 233, Iron Gal. And uh, there are so many things you may need to learn about Iron Gal before you refill Iron Gal into your precious gold pen. And uh, that homework, I can leave it to you, to yourself. Okay, so I believe my short video this video almost nine minutes that almost conclude my experiment took a month but also let me ref let me stress that and uh, do visit my blog spot if you want to see the picture of this whole writing sample because To the writing sample, it will be in a blog spot and you will find some quite interesting if you if you interested in Chinese ink. I mean that ink that it's it's cost like nothing really. That is that is cost less than a dollar. I don't know how much you will be charged over Amazon or or AliExpress, but literally almost, almost, I believe. Nowadays, what I don't understand is the international shipping costs. It seems it's free to ship from China to the US. <laughs> so, what I paid is almost like what you were paid. That's like less than one dollar, one dollar. Less than one dollar, you get 70 milliliter. 70, 70, is it 70? I believe it's 70 somewhere. No, it's not on the bottle. 70 yeah you get 70 millimeter ink juice for less than a dollar that's 
that's modern bargaining, that's communism at your doorstep. Okay, like and subscribe. I see you in my next video. Okay, bye. Look at that. It's just beautiful.